Tony here. For today's final day of the 31 Days of Horror videos, I'm going to tell you what I watched from October the 23rd through the 31st. So this was my final week of watching the horror movies during the month of October. I was able to get quite a bit watched. Um, so if you'd like to follow along on my letterbox account, um, please do so. I have the link down below. Um, but first up, I watched this movie called The Sadness. I really enjoyed this movie. It had a bunch of um, gore, and I don't, to me, it was just really good. It was like a virus-type movie. Um, I would highly recommend you check this out. I really enjoyed it. Um, next up, I watched Ginger Snaps from this Ginger Snaps trilogy. I just watched the first one. Really enjoyed it. I had never seen it before. I do have the Screen Factory release, but I never did take time to watch it. Um, but I really enjoyed this different kind of telling of a werewolf movie. Um, next up, we had the release of Nope um, on 4K. So I did watch Nope. I, had, I was not able to see that one in the theater. I wanted to see it. I, and I thought it was really good. It's probably better than I thought it was going to be. I know I've heard mixed reviews about it. Um, but I did enjoy Nope. And if you haven't seen it, I would recommend that you check it out. The next movie I watched is The House of the Devil. Someone had recommended that I check this one out. <clears throat> I really enjoyed this one. It was set in the 80s. It was a very slow type film at the beginning, but it really ramped up and I really did enjoy watching it. So that is The House of the Devil. Definitely recommend that you check that one out. Next up is another recommendation that someone gave me and it is Only Lovers Left Alive. Um, I watched this one. I didn't really care much for it. It is a vampire story. I was expecting something different. And to, to me, this was just kind of boring. I probably just need to re-watch it and check it out again later at a different time. Um, but I did not enjoy that one. Um, the next one that I watched was from a watch-along that I did. Um, and it was for Little Shop of Horrors. It had been a long time since I had seen this one, but I really did enjoy this one. It's a really good musical. Um, great performances. A lot, of, a lot of stars in this one. If you've never seen Little Shop of Horrors, I would highly recommend you check that one out. Um, the next one I watched was a made-for-TV movie from John Carpenter from the 70s. And it is Someone's Watching Me. This right here stars Lauren Hutton. Really good performances. I really enjoyed this one. You can definitely tell that it's a made-for-TV movie. But I do enjoy my made-for-TV movies growing up. I watched a lot of those. Um, and I, this right here was one I had never seen before. I would highly recommend you check that one out. <clears throat> Next up, I watched The Vigil. Um, this right here was another recommendation. It says Genu genuinely creepy from um, Empire Magazine down at the, at the bottom. It was very creepy. It was very slow at the beginning, but it, it was re a really good film. Um, it definitely needs a revisit for whatever reason. It kind of, it, it was very creepy and scary at the beginning, but then I just kind of got tired of what I was seeing and it, it didn't, it wasn't, it did not continue to be scary for me. And I was really hoping that it would continue to scare me, but it was very well done. If you've never seen the visual, definitely check that one out. And then for the final two days, I watched Halloween um, on 4K. I really love Halloween. I do try to watch this every Halloween. Um, and, I mean, this right here is probably one of the better films that I've watched during the month. It's an old classic, of course, and I love it. And it was just nice revisiting this one again this year. And finally, I watched Halloween 2 because, to me, I think it's a great follow-up from the original. A really good continuation of the story. I don't watch this one as much or as often as I do the original but I wanted to watch it this year and I really did enjoy it. So those are all of the films that I watched during this last week of Halloween. I really enjoyed watching all of these horror movies. I really do appreciate all of the recommendations that I've been given. 
Um, but thank you very much for taking the time to watch my videos. Um, if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it. If you would subscribe, if you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I have all of those linked down below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.